This broadcast will start in 60 seconds. This broadcast will start in 45 seconds. This broadcast will start in 30 seconds. This broadcast will start in 15 seconds. This broadcast will start in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. The Voice of Stockton. For more information on The Voice of Stockton, go to thevoiceofstockton.org. This is Darius Oliver, and you're listening to 92.1 KXVS, The Voice of Stockton. The views and opinions expressed in the following program do not necessarily reflect those of KXVS The Voice of Stockton or its parents, affiliates, management, and staff. Good morning, Stocktonians, and welcome to a special edition of Tales and Tips. I am honored to have with me Jill Faso Antonini and Debbie Young Blut of United Cerebral Palsy, and we're going to be talking about the wonderful walk and relay that is occurring this Saturday at 9 a.m. at Swenson Park. Before we talk about the actual event, I did want to highlight another community event that's coming up. We have the National Federation of the Blind Dinner that's happening Saturday, June 23rd from 5 p.m. to 1030 at the Mexican Heritage Center in Stockton. And this is a pivotal event to really help to fundraise for the National Federation of the Blind. And it's helping at a really important community center in Stockton. Please reach out to the radio station. We do have a small number of tickets available and help to support your community. And with no further ado, let's talk about the United Cerebral Palsy Walk and Relay that's happening this Saturday. Who would like to start and welcome? Thank you to both of you for being here today. (laughs) Thank you, Julie. We're so happy to be here. Uh, We are having our inaugural fun run, walk and roll and a 5K relay course um, event coming up this Saturday. Uh, It's two two different events uh, in one great day. And um, uh, we are almost sold out of the relay. Yay! Yeah, yeah. Yeah, We have spaces for five more teams uh, to join us. And um, and then we're sold out. And on the other side, we have a a fun run, walk and roll uh, for our clients to come out and um, their families and anyone else in the community that would love to come out and participate and help us with the UCP in our mission. Wonderful. And I've seen some of the hilarious yeah. videos. <laughs> I love that different companies yeah. have already challenged each other. Um, I know I saw one for f and M. Do you want to maybe give a shout out to some of the organizations that are already participating? Oh, we would love to. Uh, so we have three three waves or three heats, if you will. Um, we have one at 8 a.m. And at, at this point, that race is going to consist of uh, Delta Marine Sales and Services against Tanker Wash. Uh, we have Remax Realty, which is Luisa Martinez, and she is going up against Summit Funding and their team. Awesome. Yes. We have F&M Bank, who uh, has been... Uh, accepted with a challenge from Oak Valley Community Bank. Uh, we have Dorman Insurance, and they're going to go up against uh, Bachman and Woody. And we have Kroloff Law Firm against New Miller and Beardley. Awesome. And yes. do you want to talk about the relay? Explain that aspect of it and the five participants and talk about the obstacles. I think it's going to be so much fun. We can't wait for the videos to come out because oh. we have camera people. <laughs> 
<laughs> prepared for this. And, and so everybody, there's going to be 12 teams that are going to run all at the same time. It's sort of like a shotgun of like a golf tournament. And so there's two teams on each one of the obstacles, or six of them. And it's not quite a mile long. And so they're going to all take off at the same time. They're going to run. And then they're going to go over these giant inflatable obstacle courses like you would see in the kids. So I just can't wait to see, you know, people, so much fun. Yeah, going through it, running, trying to see if you could go over it. Jill and I are going to be at registration. Cool. I'm yeah. going to be out there helping. I'm going to be somewhere are. on yeah. on the relay. Um, and so there's three different heats of the relay. There, so there's other groups coming later. Absolutely. The the nine o'clock heat is going to be uh, Big Valley Ford Lincoln against Chase Chevrolet. All right. Yes. Go we, Roy Morales. <laughs> Uh, we have Health Plan of Sam McKean against uh, Verve. Uh, awesome. Yes, Chad's. Chad. Chad, absolutely. Uh, we have Thule Berg, who is going to be up against Financial Decisions. Awesome. Uh, we have the Badass Blondes, or Blondes Have More Fun. <laughs> I don't know what our team name is. Are we uh, supposed to say that? I, uh, and that is a bunch of amazing blonde attorneys. So oh, cute. Uh, and they are going to be going up Aaron, I think, is in there. Aaron Guy Castillo uh, at Janelle Samara. Cool. Team two. Um, are going to be going up against the Stockton Police Department. Oh, that'll be great. Yes. That'll be awesome. <laughs> yeah. And then we have uh, Port City Marketing, who I'm not sure exactly who. Kirsten. Yeah, Kirsten Dyke and, um, uh, and Dan Natividad, who's okay. also our board president. So oh, awesome. They're waiting to, to have their challenge accepted. Okay. Uh, wave three, we have Antonini Trucking and Pape Kenworth. Awesome. <clears throat> we have Pure Form. PTF, and I'm not sure exactly who they are going up against. We have uh, Michael's Pizza and Dorman Insurance brought two teams. Great. Yeah, we have uh, Delta College, and I believe they're going to go up against uh, the Child Services. Awesome. CCS from our awesome. apartment. And Safe Swinson. Yay. Yes. So we have room for a couple more teams. Couple more. How, how, if we have listeners that want to make a team, how do they reach you to sign up? Uh, UCPSJ.org. And it will navigate you right into how to register and create Perfect. your own team. Great. Uh, the relay is $500. The walk is free. Please just come out and join us. And your fabulous Lions Club is going to be out there. We're going to cook. For everyone. Yeah. Yes, yes, we're going to cook. It'll be a great event for a really important charity. And I love that you're having it at Swenson Park. Um, do you want to talk about how this event was created or you? and kind of how you decided to do a relay. I love that because I've never heard of that at an event before. Uh, well, we wanted to make the walk just, a, we wanted to have uh, an event that the families of our clients could come out and participate and celebrate all the work that we are doing and wonderful um, for our clients. And But we wanted <coughs> to take it one step further and uh, never before ha have you seen um, such a amazing group of people that conquer obstacles mm -hmm. every day. And that's kind of what, uh, brought the idea to our plate. That's a great obstacles. idea. So we thought we'd fight them for them. Yeah. That's a great idea. And I love, that's wonderful that you're fighting the obstacles for them. And I really love that you're having it at Swenson Park. Yeah. That's amazing. And did you, does one of you want to talk about what United Cerebral Palsy, the organization, does for people in our community? Yeah, I'll do that part of yeah. it. We were established back in 1954. We started out as a just families getting together. And UCP, although it's United Cerebral Palsy, that's the first thing we want you to know is we are so way more than our name. We do autism, we do Down syndrome. Anybody that is disabled is accepted within our program. Wonderful. Yeah. Are there ages for your program? Well, we have a children, uh, clinical family services, which starts out from just about birth until anywhere between five and three years of age. And we have physical therapy, occupational speech therapists that deal with it. We also have some teachers that um, go through in the um, Lincoln and, um, and Lodi school districts that go out and teach. And so they do evaluations for Valley Medical, um, Valley Mountain Regional Center, excuse me. And that's where we get our um, 
our um, our base that's referred all our all our clients come from them and they're referred from them okay. but we also do the assessments for them so if they're not sure and they need to know what's going on doctors will send them and our people will go ahead and assess them that way and then other than that then what will happen from that point they'll go into the school dis in into schools and then from transitioning out of high school then they'll come back to us and we have um, we have, I'm trying to think, six programs within Stockton, Lodi, and Manteca. No, Stockton, Manteca, and Tracy. Sorry about that. And we have adult day programs. Wonderful. And, yeah, and those are, what we love about our program here is that it's definitely person-centered. So our clients are the way we design our programs. We meet them first. We find out what their needs are, what their obstacles are, how we're going to go to get them where they want, whether it's learning to read, whether it's getting a job, whether it's living independently, we're there to help and advocate for them. Awesome. So you're really helping them to reach the highest level that they can and enhancing the quality of their lives. Yes. Our vision that's is, awesome. is um, life without limits. Wonderful. And that's what we truly want to see. We don't want to see limits or obstacles in the way of any of our our clients are anyone out there. It's just not really our clients. It's we want everybody. To we do want that. everybody. Yeah, that's awesome. And you mentioned that there's three locations in our county. How many people does the Stockton location serve? The um, it's that one is a hard one to to say because we go more based off of hours because especially with our children's program, we. They could see thousands of individuals throughout the day, wow. but there's a small amount of the, okay. the assessments on it. So the best way to do it is really we provide over 320,000 service hours a year wow. to our community. Wow. Yeah, and we have, we're probably one of the largest um, <coughs> nonprofit organizations that we have. We have uh, almost 200 employees altogether, mm -hmm. and so we have, I think, our largest program in Stockton has 70 individuals in it. Wow. And you see your vans all over. Yeah. Um, yeah. What staff, what number of staff do you have at the Stockton facility? Well, we have, we have three facilities in Stockton. And so... And child our, services. I'm sorry. And child services. And child services, yeah. yeah. Oh, so I would say the majority, I would say of the 200, we probably have about 170 here in Stockton. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That's yeah. a lot. How, let's come back to Jill. Sure. How did you start working for United Cerebral Palsy? What do you do? And talk about your passion for what you're doing. Um, I uh, came on board with United Cerebral Palsy back in, I believe it was August 30th of 2016. Mm -hmm. um, uh, my, actually, my, my former boss. Uh, recruited me uh, when she came on board as a CEO for UCP and she told me all about their program and the clients and I went down and met Debbie <laughs> <laughs> that's why she came to yeah. of course it was yeah. all because that's, of you yeah, absolutely <laughs> no, we, no we just it was I knew it was something I would love to be involved in and and hopeful to to make a difference you know. And you had worked for March of Dimes prior to that for many, many years. So you have a passion for helping people, which is awesome. Yeah, thank you. And how about for you? How long have you been there, and what made you want to work there? Um, in October, it'll be eight years that um, I've been with UCP. And I had always been on the for-profit side in insurance and in banking area. And I made very, very good money. But it really wasn't truly my passion. Mm -hmm. And so we finally decided after 20 years of me not really, really liking my job, it's like I want to do something that I make a difference and I make a difference for something good. Mm -hmm. And I have to tell you, people just do not know and understand what we do behind those doors until they step into those mm -hmm. doors. We provide services that change, truly changes individuals' lives for the better on it. And there's very rare pl places that you can go and you could really say that. you know. And the clients love us. When we go back there, they're like calling our names mm -hmm. and, you know, and it makes you know that you made a big difference. And that's, that's awesome. I love, I love the organization. It's just an amazing organization. If you haven't gone there, please, we'll give a tour, call us yes. up. So that was the perfect 
perfect tee off that we needed. What is the address? What's the phone number? How can someone come and take a tour? And what's your website? Um, we're at 333 West Benjamin Holt Drive, right across from Humphreys College. Okay. And our phone number is 209-751-3006. Our website is ucpsj.org. And any day they want to come out, give us a call. Uh, you don't have to prearrange anything. We will make the time because it's so important for people outside of us to really see what we do. And a separate question, not necessarily specific to your, your facility, but the county recently had to close down a facility that was helping several people that were challenged. Mm -hmm. Did you see some of those clients come to you? We have seen um, probably about five to ten of them, and they're still in the process because they're still having to go through the assessments and things like that, and they're making choices whether they want to come to our program. Okay. Um, and But that is something that all of us are having problems with, with the funding. And that's why things like this with Jill are so important because we need that money. Everybody knows that the funding is getting shorter and shorter and mm -hmm. shorter, and we need that to be able to fund from somewhere else. And events like this are we're going to make the difference for us. And if you had to, do you have space available to accept more people? We are very close to capacity. We have some um, openings in the um, area, and um, and they will go on waiting lists if they if they don't um, do it. But we really are, and part of that is again we're going back to the funding issue. I hate using that part, but it really is. It's pivotal. Yeah, it really yes. is, and and it's real. We haven't, we didn't, we haven't had a um, an increase in rates since two thousand six, and prior for, to that, wow. it wasn't we hadn't gotten an increase in 12 years. And the match was to hopefully, you know, help with the with a minimum wage. It wasn't mm -hmm. actually an increase. It's trying to sort of keep up. With, Adjust. Yeah. And there's just been changes again. Yeah, and, and everybody knows expenses are rising and rising mm -hmm. and rising, and our money is staying here. And everybody's getting that way, and that's, you know, one of the reasons that the other um, organization went, their funding went, so... Which is unfortunate, but again, that makes events like what you're having on Saturday that much more important that we need those dollars. If any of our listeners want to make a financial contribution, maybe they don't want to walk or they don't want to have a relay team, how can they do that? There is actually a, a, a box on our website where you can just donate directly to our, our campaign. Mm -hmm. Great. And... Um, and we want to thank our sponsors, Health Plan of San Joaquin. They came yeah. in as a gladiator. Yeah, they're great. All right. Yes. And uh, Kroloff Law Firm and Soha Builders uh, and Antonini Trucking and Tanker Wash has been fabulous. And so many more have been yeah. awesome. very, very generous. Wonderful. Yeah. That's yeah. good to hear. I know that setting up this was a, event was a struggle and that you have really been um, having to pull all of this together in a short amount of time and but what's exciting about that is to see that all of these companies have come together oh, so quickly the community has stepped up above and beyond it's, that's huge it's just fantastic to watch and the firefighters are coming out to play first aid all right <laughs> excellent For any scrape knees or all right yeah. awesome and did you want to mention the website again sure it's uh, www.ucpsj.org and uh, you will find the links right on the cover page mm -hmm. to our event and so a lot of valuable information about our program and our mission. Awesome. And we're, you, Julie, we're, we're still looking for, for volunteers to help. That's my next the, question. You read my mind. I wasn't That's sure. awesome. I didn't want to miss that opportunity. No, go, go forward. Go yes. for it. We're still looking for about 40 extra people to help okay. out. Usually our um, schools help, but now we're, we're at that time where, you know, Finals are happening, schools mm -hmm. are already out, everybody is gone. So we're really struggling. So if anyone is out there that would like to help volunteer, please call call my number, 209-751-3006, and I'll put you to work. Perfect. <laughs> now you read my mind. That's exactly what I was going to ask is what you needed. Um, and are you having any kind of raffle or anything like that at that event? We actually have uh, awards that we're giving awesome. uh, for uh 
best time for the real eye okay. relay the, the whole team will get an award uh, we have most monies raised we have most spirited best t-shirts um, what else do we have and then for the we have pretty much the same thing for the run rock and roll and on that side we're doing the best decorated wheelchair yes awesome so, and, and Steve Morales is doing a surprise gift oh for that. excellent yeah. for best, wonderful first first in at the, the walk he's yeah. awesome he's yes. in my rotary and he he and I also bo both serve on the board for the food bank awesome yeah. shout out to Steve yes. <laughs> <laughs> all right so you also have other fundraising events that you have throughout the year. Mm -hmm. um, you have your wonderful prom and the mm -hmm. Christmas yes. Without Limits. Did you want to talk about both of those? Uh, prom is prom um, is so special. Yeah. It, it gives all of our clients um, a chance to go to prom that they never had the opportunity to attend That's awesome. while they were in school or... Um, yeah, that's and it's not a fundraising event. No, but okay. We, we charge nothing for. Oh, that's amazing. Trust. Yeah, so that's it's we announce. It's it, an activity then. Yes. But it truly is, and it's not open to just UCP no. clients. It's open to anyone within the San Joaquin County Wonderful. that has a disability, is living with a disability. Yeah. So, w when does that typically occur? What what time of year will you o have that? October twentieth. Yes. It's, it's scheduled, and it's over at ULP, the De Rosa. Um, ballroom. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. That's an amazing facility. Yeah. I, I was fortunate to chair the inaugural Patriots Ball there November 3rd of last yes. year, and it's a phenomenal facility. That's awesome. Yeah. Wonderful. We, we work with Psychi Sigma, um, the group there that helps facilitate us actually having the um, the ballroom, and we always have to say thank you for UOP to say it's okay to have it, because otherwise the expense would be outrageous mm -hmm. for us to do it. So. Mm -hmm. And maybe some of, of the students can volunteer with the relay this yes. Saturday. Maybe. Yeah. We should you we should reach out to them and maybe challenge them. <laughs> <laughs> we have challenged them okay. uh, for UOP, but they're already out of school. Okay. So All right. a lot of them are gone are, have gone home. So we okay. got a few handful of them, but most of them are like on their way to summer vacation. Awesome. And what are some of the needs that you'll have for prom? Are there things that the community can contribute for that event? Dresses, dresses, suits, and suits, okay. and especially the larger size dresses. And mm -hmm. um, we work with Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. Mm -hmm. I'm and, familiar with yeah, them, and they loan us dresses, and awesome. but they tend to be the smaller size, mm -hmm. and because of the you know limitations that our clients have being in wheelchairs, they don't tend to be able to exercise. So we are looking for probably 16 and above. Okay, if anyone's out there willing to to give up their formals. They, you just have to see these individuals yeah. when they are here and for the first time getting a dress. And these, these individuals could be in their 40s and mm -hmm. 50s and have never had a formal of their own to be able to pick up. Or the men, I was really surprised, the men were even more excited about <laughs> getting a suit and strutting and being, a, it's fabulous. If anybody ever wants to do it and they want to volunteer, that's a great time too awesome. to help out and you'll see what a difference we make. Yeah. Awesome. And then let's talk about Christmas Without without Limits. Oh, that's, it's a magical night. Uh, it is, um, this year it's going to be November 30th. And it's okay. going to be at the the Waterloo Gun and Bocce Club again. Wonderful. Um, it is. We we will be starting in August. Our clients actually make Christmas ornaments. Uh, they decorate them and paint them, and it's all their own imagination. And they do a fabulous <laughs> job. Um, Better than you and I could oh, do. Oh, for sure. <laughs> um, and then we're going to actually have different uh, businesses are very excited to sell them again this year. Um, and. They sell for twenty dollars, and then Dr. Cockerham offers a trip for the the winning of the raffle at the end of the year uh, by Christmas Eve. Actually, we draw it, um, but then we have uh, thirty. Um, what's it? Three two hundred and fifty is what we yeah. were able to. Yeah, two hundred and fifty guests attend. Awesome. And then, in honor of the twelve days of Christmas, we have uh, twelve items that are wrapped and you don't know what they are <laughs> and um, you buy more ornaments the, e the night of the event and with that is a, a rough ticket and then the raffle numbers are drawn 
and the winners get to come up, and it becomes like a white elephant Aww. party where you can steal it, and it's it's great. Fun. It's a lot of fun. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. It's a great awesome. night. Yeah. We have so much fun. Yes. And as soon as it's over, people are asking us, yeah. when are you having it again? Yeah. I, have you gone, Julie? I haven't. I wasn't oh. able to go, but I'm go last year. But I'm definitely going to go this year. Go. You I know. need to go. You'll love it. You'll I need love to it. go. So we've been kind of hinting around the issue of funding. Um, let's talk about where does your funding come from, and how how are you fundraising to help to cover costs of di of day to day operations? Well, our funding comes from you know the, it's federal federally funded and 90 over 90 percent of our referrals come from Valley Mountain Regional Center and so but again like I had said before you know an increase in 2006 and then nothing before that for 12 years it's it's been very slow there's big gaps very very mm -hmm. big gaps and and with this minimum wage increase you know we've never we've always gotten by but now it's like we're really trying to figure it out. We're cutting costs everywhere we can, we can, you know, with, without causing or taking from our clients on it. But, you know, if we could go without anything as the administrative staff, right. we're going without it. We're, we're, we're doing sharing it. scissors. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> really? No, we're finally trying yes. to get it into, Brain into the real. Brain from home. I mean, yes. it's horrible. Whatever we yeah. can. Yeah. yeah. But poor Jill is. This is our <laughs> other funding source. This is why she's there. Yeah, it is. And she does a great job. And we need the community to help her out some more. Yeah. Um, well, then maybe there's other artwork that some of the, the participants, the clients can do that you can sell yeah. separate from the ornaments. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely been a consideration. We've, we've thought of quite a few more ideas for this next, next yeah. fiscal year. Awesome. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay, anything you'd like to share just, of uh, other upcoming things? Just everybody to come take a tour. And, and just like Debbie said, you really have no idea what's going on um, behind those walls until you t see it for yourself, myself included. I had no idea. And it is a, a very humbling experience. Um, it puts life in perspective. Mm -hmm. And um, you just, they are so happy just to be there that day. And it just, it warms your heart. That's awesome. That's awesome knowing that you are helping people, just like you said, to live without limits. Yeah. Did you want to share, again, the address, phone numbers, things like that, so that if our listeners want to either take a tour or donate? Yeah. Absolutely. Go ahead. Oh. Okay, 333 West Benjamin Holt Drive, across the street from Humphreys College. Um, number to call is 209-751-3006. Our website is ucpsj.org. And also look us up on um, Facebook. Yeah. We're out there. We're still, we're old. <laughs> we're, we're doing Facebook. <laughs> we haven't quite got to Instagram yet. Instagram. <laughs> we're trying, but we haven't quite made it there. Yeah. But, um, and we also have a, a site, a Facebook site for our um, event that we have now. We have mm -hmm. one for Christmas Without Limits yes. also. So if you want to look at Christmas Without Limits, you'll be able to see all the pictures and all the gifts that we give away. Great. And going back to the relay and the walk. You talked about needing X number of volunteers. What will those volunteers be doing? Let, let's hype that up a little bit so we can get some volunteers to come out. I, I think primarily we're um, we're looking for client or uh, volunteers who can actually be on the street corners to make sure our clients get across the street safely. Um, just kind of stand there, make sure guide everyone in the right direction uh, along the walk path, and just make sure it's a very safe experience for everyone. Yeah, awesome. uh, you know, and it, and if you don't know UCP, but you know Swenson Park, I'm throwing it out there <laughs> on it. Come and support yeah, Swenson. Show up. We're, We're here for, for a reason. You know, we want that park. We yeah. want that golf course still there and show your support. Be there for our, our walk. And that was one of the reasons we did the walk without any cost to the registration is because we want the public there. That's we great. We yeah. want a showing. And hopefully maybe, I know you said Friends of Swenson has a team, but maybe we can get some volunteers from Friends sure. of Swenson to mm -hmm. help with the walk. What about the relay? Who is judging the relays? It's actually just based strictly on time. We're going to have timers on okay. each obstacle, one on each side. And when that fifth relay runner comes in, 
the timer will stop and then they go and report it. Uh, it'll be on the big board. Okay, and you have timers, you have those spots are taken, you have timers already. Well, no, we, yes. or do you need we'll more timers? How, always. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Always. All right. So we'll have those. We need people to help set up. We have, Absolutely. Oh, we'll I beg people to help pull down, <laughs> take down. I need take down people. Yeah. Um, so we definitely have that. And I think just being in any of the area, you're going to have a lot of fun and see the craziness yeah. that's happening. I, I can't wait to, we can't wait till next year. Oh, next year. Right. Awesome. Fantastic. Awesome. Do we, um, Big Valley, Florida, are they doing something? Yeah, they're actually, they're going to have two uh, rest stops along the way wonderful water. excellent great good and we already said that stockton hosts lions we're going to have our barbecue out there yes, you are. i'm excited about that we're yeah. very excited to have you that's awesome yeah. all right anything else that either one of you would like to talk about related to ucp now i think the only thing is that i'll use a, an example of one of our our clients that we had and he started out in our in one of our day programs and um, he has a speech um, impediment as part of his his thing and and so he came and he's very quiet very very quiet individual and he started out in our day program started learning skills there he transitioned to what we have as our supportive employment program where we have job coaches and um, a job developer that goes out in the community to help out and hire our individuals and he ended up getting a job over at sharp depot and you know just doing little things now he is a forklift driver he owns his home own home he was wow. able to yeah. save money buy his own home he lives independently and that is truly what our goal is That's for you awesome. is come in let's see as far as we can get you we want to see where you want to be and we're going to help you try to get there wow and so, that's amazing yeah. that he's a forklift driver mm -hmm. wow yeah. that's yeah. phenomenal that's yeah, awesome. That's, that's, that's huge. Just, yeah. That's that's that's, that's life changing. Life limits. Yeah. Yes, that's phenomenal. Um, do you want to talk about the illness itself, specifically use cerebral palsy, what it is, what it does functionally to people, and how progressive it is? Um, cerebral palsy, it usually happens during um, childbirth. And whether it's a lack of oxygen to the brain is essentially what it has happened. And it could be a variety of things. You can have an individual who has cerebral palsy, and, and upon looking at them, you would have no idea that they have any, any disabilities. You have others where you will see where they have their limbs. They don't have control as much as they want to or they aren't able to speak. Um, and so I would say on that one is that, you know, remember when you see these individuals and, and their arms and their legs aren't, you know, doing what they just desperately want their mind to make that to do, that there truly is a person behind all of that who just want to be known and acknowledged and and we, we do devices, they have, we have a lot of devices that they have um, dino boxes and now we're doing them on our iPads. And once you realize and we could train them to be able to do it and whether it's pushing it with their hands, wearing a band and using a, you know, a pointer, using their eyes, there is a person behind that. And you know, if I could say anything, is that when you come across that, those individuals, there is a human being who wants to be just like everybody else behind that body. And, and, um, but the other thing is, is we don't do use CP only. It's, we have autism, we have, we have, um, Down syndrome. Down syndrome. Tourette's, ADHD, yeah. ADHD. It's, it's, it's a vast yeah. on it. And each individual is, is dealt with depending on what their skills are and what they want to do. That's awesome. And how much of the time will they spend at your facility? Are they there just during the week? Are they? How is it set up? Monday through Friday. Uh, it's usually a six-hour day. Mm -hmm. So it's similar to the ARC yeah. Yeah. in a lot of ways. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah, very similar to ARC. Okay. You know, and, and one of the concerns that we have is that the new funding and the way of they want to design things, um, there's a switch. And so adult day programs aren't necessarily what they're looking for 
to get funding, so we're making a transition. It'll be interesting within the next five years to see where we where we are and where everybody is. Well, and it, it's it's amazing to hear everything you just described and how much a lifeline you are to these people to really help them to achieve and be everything that they can be. It's phenomenal. Yeah. It's beautiful. I'm telling you, you guys have to go. You have to go see it. You have to go see it. It's it's so heartwarming. It is. You know, I always say, everyone goes, "What do you work?" And I go, "United Cerebral Palsy." And they, "How do you like it?" I absolutely love it. I make no money whatsoever. <laughs> and I said, "But, you know, the clients are amazing, and and I have to give it to our our staff. Yeah. You know, these are most individuals that are making minimum wage, and they have personal care." And the majority of them are just the passion. They're there because they want to be there, because they love what they do, and they have a caring heart. And there's That's just awesome. Like, our, mm-hmm. our, our staff is just amazing. And keep, can people come and volunteer at the facilities as well? You know, not for the actual care, but we do have a lot because, like I said, we are, you know, limiting as much as we can especially on the administrative side Mm -hmm. you know we are always could use help with you know filing and you know you know doing type of administrative type of things Mm -hmm. we could definitely help out with that awesome excellent all right jill anything else that you would like to add or Um, highlight no uh going back to the relay race we also have staples office supplies has been phenomenal and they're coming out with in in a big group for the walk as well, as well Yay. as the relay. Yeah. Awesome. And Cesar Chavez is being sponsored by Soha Builders. So I uh, can't wait to see what, what their team looks like. Yeah. yeah. We're awesome. ready to see who's going to accept their challenge. And earlier you talked about a t-shirt contest. contest. So are people coming out in costumes or, or what they are can. they doing? They can. Yeah. <laughs> they they can. can. Very awesome. Yeah. Very cool. T-shirt contest and most spirited. Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. That'll be fun. That'll be really neat to see what some of the different companies are wearing as they are attempting these inflatable obstacles. <laughs> do you, do you want to give a, give a hint as to what any of the obstacles are like? Maybe one of them? They're, they're just, they're honestly, they're just the, the largest children's inflatable obstacle courses we could find. <laughs> so we have some that are like 40 to 60 feet. And length and and, and, and these are things you can climb yes, up and yeah. over. Go through, okay. Weave slide around, down. Slide down. Weave. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. We, that we're that sounds like some it's good pictures, so. if anything. You need video. <laughs> yes. You need video. Tim <laughs> Elmer will be out there. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. Yay. It sounds like it's gonna be an amazing event. Yeah. And once again, a team is five hundred dollars. For the relay. Okay. And the walk is certainly free, but we encourage and hope everybody will fundraise. Of course. Yeah. And how many spaces do you have left for teams for Five the relay? Five teams. Okay. All Five right. Five teams. All right. So you heard it right here. We're challenging you to come up with five teams for this Saturday. And the relay actually starts at 8 a.m. But the spaces that you are looking for, because you have three heats, mm-hmm. it's probably the later heat. Well, we have one available at 8 a.m. Okay. Uh, one at 9 and two at 10. All right. There we go. That's four teams. That's well, but we're waiting for a confirmation. Five I see. Five teams are waiting okay. for one challenge. Okay. All right. Awesome. To be answered. Excellent. So yes. that sounds amazing. And yeah. it really, what your organization is doing to help those in our community to add to the quality of their lives is phenomenal. Um, I really appreciate both of you being here today. Um, and I really hope that everyone will come out and support UCP and you're also supporting Swenson at the same time. That's this Saturday starting at 8 a.m. Um, and it goes till? Till about 11. 11? Okay. And there's going to be food courtesy of the Stockton Host Lions. Yeah. All right. And it just sounds like it's going to be a great time. Even if you're just there watching the relay, that yeah. sounds like that part of it is just going to be so much yeah. fun. Come out and support your, your community. Yes, teams lots of team spirit. And, and, and be silly and have fun yes. for just a, a really great cause that makes such a difference in people's lives. All right, well, I want to thank both you, Jill, and you, Debbie, for coming out today. Any final things before we close? No, thank you guys so much for doing this for us. Yeah 
community radio is just amazing and so helpful yeah. to us. We're really fortunate to have the, the voice of Stockton and that they really care about what goes on in the community and are at so many events and we provide so many different types of radio shows. So please also support the voice of Stockton. I'm going to go ahead and sign off. I am the voice of Stockton. You are the voice of Stockton. We are the voice of Stockton. Let's make it a great day. 